Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects tutorial on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday. And just like I promised, I was going to be here this week, even though my finals are still going on, I didn't realize what days I had my finals on. But I made a promise, so boom, I'm keeping that promise right now. <laughs> so yeah, guys, uh, today we are learning this realistic kind of, uh, you know, water scene, ocean scene look it's very cool um learned it like not too long ago i don't remember where i learned it i was looking up other stuff and i found it it's actually pretty sick the methods are all used within after effects so just passing on my knowledge and something about that real quick guys i'm sorry that uh brandon and i like to talk and kid around during our tutorials and i'm sorry that we uh usually take up a little more time than we should but you guys got to understand that we are not real teachers we are just two guys doing our thing yes not thing our thing and uh you guys shouldn't take us that seriously i mean we're teaching you guys all this stuff because it's just out of the goodness of our hearts we have other jobs we but this isn't how we make money this isn't what we do for a living it's we just do this for you guys. So if you guys could give this a like and support us and not be douchebags and comment, why are you talking so much? Just get to the tutorial and stuff because that's retarded. I, I hate people that do that. I'm sorry. We're not, we're not real teachers. But anyway, let's get to the tutorial now. Oh, yeah, and give the video a like. I know I just said that, but let me just say it again. Give the video a freaking like or I will pinch your nipples. I swear on my life. I will go to your house and find you and pinch your nipples. Freaking like this. <laughs> wow okay <laughs> that was mean okay so let's get to the tutorial so first off i'm going to click this little button down here and that uh creates a new composition i'm going to use full 1080p 30 frames per second at just a nice little six second intro so uh as you can see there's a nice black screen here let's right click in this blank canvas area down here go to a new solid and then we're going to call this the water Okay, you can make it whatever color you want because we're changing it right now. Go over to the effects and presets with the water selected, and we're going to type in uh, what is it called? Frack. Fractal noise. There we go. Drag it onto there, and you will see all these options that look pretty foreign, but I'm about to tell you the options that will make it look a lot better. So, first thing, fractal type. We're going to go down to dynamic. Then, with the noise type, we want just linear. The contrasting, let's bring it up to like 115-ish. Bring the brightness down to uh, negative 7. Yeah. Okay, complexity, let's bring it down to 4.1. And uh, here is where things need to get a little bit more serious because right now, uh, you need to transform this or else it won't look like water. So make sure that your timeline indicator is all the way to the left. And then we're going to click on the offset turbulence uh, keyframe. Then we're going to go all the way to the right. And then we're going to drag it over. And then you will see there's this little, like, little button right here. You're going to click and drag it down pretty far. Just so it moves that animation down and to the right. And uh, with that, that will make it look like it's flowing water. And now what we want to do is go back to the beginning. And then with this evolution, we're going to alt click on the stopwatch. And we're going to type in a new expression, guys. Here it is. It's very easy. It's just time. And then is that called an asterisk or whatever? But it's, it's basically saying multiply it by 150. So multiply the time by 150. So um, the evolution is being multiplied by 150 as it goes on you see so that's just animating it while it's moving down and we didn't even have to set keyframes or anything isn't that isn't that great expressions are cool <laughs> okay so now the last thing we are going to want to do to this is we're going to want to change the color of it so go over to fractal or <laughs> fractal go over to the effects and presets and we're going to type in try and that's my nickname, Tripod. I'm just <laughs> oh, my stupid jokes. Hey, don't make fun of my laugh. I hate when people do that. I'm sorry if I have a weird laugh. Gosh, dang it. 
guys are so mean sometimes. Okay, so <laughs> um, so highlights, we're going to click a kind of brighter color. You know, make it whatever color you want. I'm going to make it kind of a greenish blue color. Okay, and then uh, midtones, we're going to do the same thing, kind of a greenish. That's a little too green, right about there. That'll look cool. And then the last one, kind of a darker greenish color. Uh, I don't like that. It's not bright enough. There's not enough contrasting between these two, so make this a little darker. There we go. Okay, so now what we need to do is right-click on the water layer and then click Pre-Compose. And we want to move all the attributes to this new comp. And we're just going to call this Water Comp. Okay, so now we have this new composition. Now we can apply a glass layer on top of it. So go over to your effects and presets and type in glass. And we're going to do the stylize CC glass. Drag and drop it on top of it. And you are done. Great job, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> JK lol. This looks so stupid right now. Why would you think that was the end? <laughs> I'm Just kidding. Okay, so... We're going to move the softness up to about 35. We're going to make the height. Let's do about 75. Displacement, we're going to go negative 100. And boom. With that, you have your murky greenish water. And you can always go back and change the color. But let's uh, bring down the light options. And let's make it more of a bluish light. Okay. There we go. That gives it a nice bluish look. Cool. I like that. Okay, so our water is actually pretty much done. I will uh, render this real quick. I'm going to hit zero to pre-render it just so you guys can check out what we created together and how it looks after we just applied those simple effects to it. So I'll bring you back in a second. All right, guys, uh, this is what we created. And as you can tell, doesn't that just look so convincing and beautiful? It actually looks like flowing water, and this was all created within After Effects, so that is the most powerful thing about it. Like, I, there's no external plugins used, You just out of the box After Effects, you can create this. So, now let's make it more into, a, into an intro. So, um, now that we have that done, let's right click, go new text, and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to type in whatever... Uh, we want for the intro so let's just type in something that we never use like check it I mean uh, I don't think we've ever used that before so I think we're pretty safe to use that and I'm going to uh, have it selected and I'm gonna hit S and I'm gonna scale it up and I'm just going to you know put it in the middle by I because uh, I don't give a fluff if you guys want to take the time put rulers up and such you can but uh I'm a gangster, and I don't like to spend time on that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm going to make it a little bigger. That's what she said. And now we have check it in the middle. So uh, as you can tell, this looks pretty boring. So we're going to select check it. We're going to hit F4 just in case you guys don't have the blending modes up. Then we're going to change it to add. And then we're going to hit T to bring up the opacity settings. We're going to drag it down. Until you get a look that uh, you kind of like. So, um, I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling more of a right, you know, so you can kind of see through it. There we go. I like that look. That looks very cool. Okay, so, sorry, I had an itchy nose. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to go back to the effects, and now we're going to type in, uh, let's use a fast blur. So type in fast, because that's how I am in bed. I'm just kidding. Um, blurriness. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. We're going to animate this. So um, we're going to make sure your timeline indicator is all the way to the left. And then we're going to select this uh, effects area over here. And we're going to hit the keyframe for blurriness. And now we're going to turn this up to like 110, just so it just gets completely blown out. Then we're going to move forward to however long you want the fade to last. Uh, let's just, because I did it pretty fast before. Let's use a, you know, shorter zoom or shorter fast blur. So now we're going to turn it down to 8 pixels. 
And this makes it blend in with the water to the point where it looks like it's behind the water. So it goes from blurry, comes down, comes down, and uh, then it goes down to 8 pixels. But here's the problem with this, guys. So we're going to select check it. We're going to hit U to bring up the keyframes. And the problem with this is that it kind of just comes to a very abrupt stop. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to hit F9. Let me just make sure it's still recording. Yeah, the Avermedia thing is still blinking, so we're good. And now it'll be a nice transition and a, a, like a more smooth stop. That's, that's an easy ease keyframe. Not that you guys didn't know that already. Just if there's new people, that's an easy ease keyframe. So that just smooths it out. Okay, so the last thing, well, one of the last things we need to do is we need to add a kind of turbulent displacement to this check it layer to make it look like it's really part of the water. So what we're going to go, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the effects and presets again. I know we've been doing this a lot. We're going to type in turbulence, turb. <laughs> And then under distort, there's turbulent displace. So click and drag it over here to the check it layer. And now here's what we're going to need to do. So the evolution, once again, we're going to need to alt click it and type in that same thing that we used before. Time, asterisk, or just multiply, whatever it's called. I don't, I don't know. And then 150. Okay, and then click off of it. Don't hit enter else you're going to get a big, you know, space there. It doesn't hurt it at all, but it's just kind of annoying. Okay, so uh, now we're going to mess with the settings. So the amount we're going to turn down to like, actually, let's, let's put it to like 34, but then the size we want to take down to like 23 probably. Let's see. Yeah. Maybe turn up the amount too. It's because, uh, yeah, that's a little too much though. We don't want it to, you know, destroy the look of this beautiful shot. Okay, and I actually want it to be a little bigger. That's what she said. Yeah. That's right, you little slut. I'll line you up. And by eye, that looks maybe one pixel to the left, one pixel down. Yeah, that looks pretty center. Okay, so... With that, we are almost done. <laughs> I know that I keep saying that, but right click and we're going to do a new adjustment layer and then right click and go new adjustment layer again. And then we're going to rename the bottom one real quick. So select it, hit enter, and we're going to call this blur. Or let's, uh, let's be more specific, depth of field. Then we're going to select the adjustment layer two, hit enter, and we're going to call this one Viggy. Okay, so with we'll start with the Viggy. We go over here, and uh, you guys can always, you know, make the vignette yourself. Um, I don't, I don't want to show you. Uh, I'd rather just keep the tutorial short because people get mad at me. So uh, misfire vignette. I'm just gonna put that on the Viggy layer. That'll just uh, turn the attention more towards the center of this. So that looks a lot better. And then for depth of field, we're gonna go over to the effects and presets, and we're gonna type in. Let's use a box blur for this. So box blur, drag it on top of the depth of field layer and we're going to turn it up maybe, not, not too much, maybe 11. Uh, it's still a little lot. Quite a bit. That looks pretty good. And then uh, make sure you have repeat edge pixels on it. Just helps with the uh, edge over here so it doesn't look stupid. Okay, so now for the depth of field layer, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go with it selected. We're going to go up to this this ellipse tool. Make sure that if you, if you click and hold on top of it, you can go down to the ellipse tool. That's what we want. So with it selected, double click the ellipse tool. And that creates an ellipse mask. Now we're going to bring down the mask options. We're going to invert it. So check the inverted thing. Then we're going to turn up the feather a lot. Cool. Okay. And then maybe just turn up the expansion just, just a bit. Uh, maybe turn it down to the negatives. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Now that is looking good. So with that, we are done. So now let's render it. Let's go up to composition, add to render queue. And I'm going to use Sony Vegas. So click on lossless. 
or Sony Vegas, what the heck, Windows Media. So click on lossless, uh, click on format, and then go down to Windows Media. And then I didn't use any audio with this, so just hit OK. Go over to the output 2. And uh, we'll go over to Realistic Ocean Intro. And then we're going to call this just Real. Because I don't know what else to call it. So now we're going to hit Save and Render. So with that, we are done. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, just leave it in the comments. I'll try to talk to you guys. But... I'm going to be out this weekend, you know, doing stuff because it's finals and uh, we're, we're all going to be celebrating with my friends and stuff because they're done and this semester is really tough. So I'm very happy. So uh, if I don't get to reply to all your comments, I'm very sorry. I will try to. But thanks for watching anyways, guys. And um, stay tuned to watch what we created together three times after the video is done. So thank you very much. And uh, oh yeah, you guys can download all this stuff for free. Just check the description and I will put this project file in the description. So check it out. Download it. Love it. Live it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I will see you guys on the next Tutorial Tuesday. Just kidding. Effects Friday. Peace, guys. <laughs>